think no yeah, just ready. one unready. Do we have any data yep, about the, the just starting? Do we have Prisoners any data about the results? I think Dom later can, can can answer that question. I'm yeah. I, I'm Good I'm question. wondering who who's done better in the tournament? Is it NAT or Prism? Is there one in the stream? So um there we go yeah um prism has two recons three assaults um and, and it did has four assaults one support they are gonna play it slow i guess prism even thinking about a drop here yeah they're trying well i don't know what they're doing actually two people in the elevator by white hallway they're dropping I think they're forgetting about the ghost. And Corpse actually covering the spawn point, the sky bridge. It'll be interesting if he can hold off Prism here. Prism very defensively, and eight ball just Some, killing someone himself. Did, did, yeah. Uh, Rives has killed Corpse. Um, they dropped. But at the same time, also pushing in on top. Now that's interesting. And they actually use it quite well. I don't know what of KK it's doing. Um... Before he was in a better position when he was flanking actually while the others came from the bottom. But it seems and like they have to is, is really low HP, he's falling back to spawn. Right where he's just gotting Pony very close to Hyduk. Hyduk at default getting back to Rye Babies. Basically making a two against two right now. They should pick up the ghost now. OKK okay, is closing in, slowly but surely. YouTube very defensively here, staying at the staircase. They got 40 seconds left. They finally got the ghost, NAT. And they are pushing... Uh, Prism is pushing through conference. They dropped the ghost, they are gauging each other now. He forgot Dejubu, almost got OKK. It's one versus one, and Hedu got uh, OKK. What a surprise. I think the big mistake a Prism made here is pushing through the same area. If OKK would have chosen to push through the server room, uh, I think they could have had easily the upper hand here. Yeah. But very. Um, both teams very holding back still, very early in the game. I think this might be dominating in sign for. Both teams not committing too much in the beginning, and probably that will also translate much in the late game. But let's um, see. Team composition hasn't changed much, but um, NAT has an MX because there is a corporal support, and Prism uh, has a Wrangler dog. It's playing Recon. It's the still the same as before. Um, there is an engagement by Small Construction, 3 low against one of the Prism players. He didn't go them. There is two prison players by the um, stairs waiting on a smoke. Prism holding back really. Corpse really trying to drop well. on the escape bridge. He does it uh, without any resistance. And he's gonna flank. Three roll just killed Ajibu. Four against four, and Waffle Time getting a drop on Corpse who was trying to get up. Probably um, being called out by OKK. Trilo just picked up the ghost. Now they're making a prison play really defensive here. Mm. And they have the callouts. It makes you even wonder why. Hayden just took off and... Waffle, and there is two prison players by, by stairs, so watch out for that nade. They got one. And they're going... pushing heavily down the stairs. Yeah, the both, both prison players are by lobby one step now. And the last one is uh, watching the caption. But he's like really clueless. I, I don't know. I don't know what was he thinking. Maybe about um, 
NAT try in the drop, but. Prism was too unsure of what they really wanted to do. Even the two Recons played more defensively, which have, would have more suited a support or a, or a sword, especially how open they stood there, not using ambushes and everything. Yeah, I think this links with what I was talking before. Uh, I think they have a really bad issue with communication here. Like They seem to act chaotic at times and really thinking well what to do as a team. Like on a five versus five, that's the least thing you should do because you are just left to be picked out by the other team one by one. Definitely, you're definitely spot on with that. Also, they are not utilizing the strength of the individual classes. Like right uh, now, um, NAT has already a, a hold of the ghost and they're all building up by small concentration, I think, or stairs. There is, there is two at small construction or one stairs. They're pushing the ghost now. Three low gods the first. And they got Waffle. Okay, got Aduk. Oh, nice nade by Pony there. Almost got OKK. Okay, I don't know how he didn't get him. And the last two prison players are falling back to small construction. It's two recons. And they just got no, easily got taken off, once. but reload there. Very uncoordinated, not really aiming to do something, and not really utilizing the mobility the recon class X gives you as access. Bit they, unfortunate. Yeah, I, I really agree with what you said. So they all got really high pings. Uh, like four of them have uh, pings about 100, and one has nearly 300. Yeah. Yeah, um, Digibo really gets punished here right now on the server with his ping. Also now, uh, NAT has three sergeants. Uh, one of them is an assault, two as supports. Um, Prism is changing, changing um, their team composition. They went two, two assaults, two supports, one recon. Let's see how it goes. Well, they got corpse this time. But an NET has a hole of the ghost again. Heidi is picking it up. They traded weapons there, very smart for him by them. Um Prism is pushing through server room towards them. But if they don't watch out, NAT actually goes up to the Yeah, they're the they're trying to go for the gap. What? NET is gonna try to cap the ghost on them. I'm not sure what's this, their strategy here. Um, like like I said before, it seems a bit chaotic. Taiju almost team kill uh, OKK there, the shotgun. So Hideyuk is going for the drop, definitely. I think he made up his mind. If I were a prism, I would try to fall back. Um, there was an engagement by conference room. Nobody. Okay, died. can you hear us now? Yeah, I can hear you, but can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can, can hear you now. Okay, it that must have been some bug. I don't know. Um, how are you going for the drop? He's a supporter, so he's really slow. Pretty soon falling back to the capson. Or at least 8 ball is watching it now. I think this might end on a timeout, as there is only 10 seconds left. And nothing much will change, so 5 seconds left. And one of the players of NAT just disconnected. Yeah, Pony left the game. I guess this calls for a pause. I'm 
I'm gonna pause. So yeah, Agio did ask me um, what are my thoughts, who's gonna win this, but um, I, I, I did say that NAT because of Hajduk. And on the first round, Hajduk just uh, clutched the round. So I wasn't too far away from that um, prediction. Um, He's been playing well. Yeah, and, and also NAT is really playing well as a team, um, while Prism is not really coordinating really well. Uh, they really need to get uh, their game together if they want to stand a chance against NAT. I wonder what happened to that player from NAT now that... Yeah, uh, Pony had a technical difficulty. He's rebooting his computer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, at least that gives some uh, opportunity to Prism to work on their communication and tactics now. We'll see if they um, take or make use of this time. Okay, we're on pausing. Yeah. They have, again if they... they have not done a technical pause. They would have had more time if they have done a technical pause. They just did a regular pause, which is only 60 seconds long. So are they playing 5 versus 4 then? Yeah, they are now playing 5 against 4. Okay, this might be interesting to watch. Might be, but they it's kind of they can, could have done a technical pause, which is up to three minutes. But Pony's oh. back in, maybe he's just back in time. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, I think he would, yeah, he made it. <laughs> um, Prism yeah, trying yeah, uh, the it, drop yeah. on NAT. At least one player, Rabies. Yeah, Brabies is going down, but the windows are still intact, so... No, also they were actually and broken it. And they do boo. But Corpse is walking, and there goes a grenade. And oh. goes And what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Brabies just goes for the team kill here. Yeah, that was oh. really unfortunate. He did bounce, uh, he did evade that name, but I, unfortunately he, he went the wrong side. And... He probably threw the net before he died. Or oh, how did that go? It, it was too messy. I couldn't. Play. I kind of lost has, track there. Has the ghost now, and they they just took out two of the nitty players. They're pushing um towards stairs, maybe. Yeah, they got pony there. Yeah, taking advantage of the ghost. Yeah, I saw that uh, 2v2. I, I don't know. Hyduk has a good position here. He might actually clutch this. Even though they would pick up the ghost again, I think Hyduk has a good good chance here to stop them. Yeah, he's really well positioned. He's actually rotating. And they're pretty not, close not to each other. With blow. They have the elevators and the reception and um, eight ball is playing super slow with the ghost yeah it's less than 30 seconds left i i, I, I don't get it why, why didn't uh, like i mean hyduk is there on the reception and blow is on the elevators as you can see but why don't they take the ghost through the suicide stairs and just go to the back back cap point you know not on yeah. the bridge but the other one well, like that would be, up. yeah, it could be an option, but they don't even consider it. Yeah, like right now they're just sitting ducks waiting, and it's gonna be a timeout. Uh, yeah, it's gonna waste the opportunity in my opinion, but because they should be able to see where the players are, so why they, why don't they, they, like make use of it out of the information and go for the other cap point? Like of course Heidi and Blow would come there. But, um, they still had a window of opportunity to go there. Nobody was guarding the stairs. And um, this, but but it's easier said than done. Like some players who don't really do the ghost calling in Rise, it might be pretty hard to tell where the players are. So don't quote me, but I think the server crashed again. Really? How yeah, unfortunate! So. Not for me. For for me, it works though. But uh, I know I... Agio has had some problems here. <laughs> I can switch between the players. 
Oh no, they're moving. Something's wrong with my game. Let me restart. Well, we still have to. It's fine. Let's see. So yeah, it What's was an issue on, on my end. It's fixed now. I don't know what happened. Corpse is gonna walk into the fire. Didn't even take a hit, but gets a double nade. What yeah, the hell? Nade. What Just a good nade. Watch it. It looked like Corpse is gonna get punished for that rush, but um, didn't take single damage. Like, no, no hit points at all. And then gets lucky nade as well. Or but could be a good nade as well. Oh, uh, Prism is pushing uh, the ghost. Yeah, it started out good for the NSF team, but now they are like outnumbered. What is this? The ghost, I'm waiting. No, sorry, it's 2v2. No, 3v2. What, what yeah, am I saying? I've lost it myself. I think they should, again, try to um, pick up the ghost and try to drop it. I'm not sure if that's their guide point, actually. Yeah, but they are smoked off, so um, NSF, if they're doing pretty good here, playing time, smoking it off, you know, playing the clock. Hyduk gets one. Hyduk's pushing what a good through frag. a smoke obstruction. But that, that was kind of silly play from uh, Britain, staying behind the smoke. Obviously, Hyduk can see through the smoke. Oh, they got a deja vu. Um, NSF played good here. I think uh, Corp should try to flank Buffalo here. Now that I do this. There's broken. only like 15 seconds. Yeah. He it's should run a away and take a tie, to be honest. And that's what he's doing. It's a smart, the best choice here. Rather take the tie point than give a round win. Timeout. Yeah, it, it's better for the Chinara team here. But yeah, um, this is something you see quite often. There was like three, it was three against two for Chinara team, but somehow they lost two players, leaving one against two. And they lost a round which they should have won by numbers. Um, now it's interesting to note that uh, okay, one of their players went support, but at first uh, Prism had no supports at all. One's trying a drop, Daijuku is trying a drop on Skybridge, but Corpse is watching. No luck with the grenade. They're pushing for the ghost, which is inside the server room. Yeah, the server room ghost, um, I don't know if you have any feelings about it, but um, I always feel that the ghost in the server room is, is a bit sketchy. Yeah, because, because of can, the end. It's yeah, dangerous. Yeah, you can crash through the vents uh, really easily. Like, yeah, and there's like a couple routes, and if somebody is really fast, uh, they, might be behind, uh, they might be behind you when you get to the ghost. So, at least one thing you should usually avoid is if you get to the server room first never pick up the ghost because people hear if you break the glass and it's just um the timings are a bit um sketchy so sometimes it works sometimes not often not well uh, as long as you're stealthy everything works in this game mostly mm. Look at Rabies, he's on the on the cap point, watching the elevator spawn. I don't know, I'm not sure what's his game here. But everyone is playing really defensively now, um, holding their positions. Yeah, 8-Ball is doing the classic, holding the ghost and staying still. This is kind of how you shouldn't be playing the ghost. If you if you pick up, pick up the ghost, you want to move. Yeah, and he's... Like right now, he has a really a window to try and drop the ghost and cut fast. Like he has the speed, and, and really all of his teammates are alive besides one, perhaps. Now they're getting pushed through conference. It's but this also might be a timeout again. What to mention that um, NAT has a 60 second advantage here 
what comes to the guns. They have um, four sergeants and one corporal. And if you look at Team Chinro, they have three corporals, two privates. And they are down to 3 0 oh. with some timeouts here, so. It's tough. It's gonna be tough for Prism. Yeah, gameplay is getting really slow, which um, doesn't favor them, to be honest. Yeah, it's true. And also, um, uh, as you pointed out, they play super slow, but they still have the Ghost. But they don't really utilize the Ghost, uh, so what's up with that? Um, I think they should speed it up a bit. It might be a Ghost call kind of a misunderstanding going. That the calls yeah, are not on point or people out, don't uh, understand. Before. They've got a really bad issue with communication. Like their previous matches, that it seemed like it. Not sure what's the cause, really, because I'm not in their team channel, but it should really improve on that. They picked up the ghost again, and I think. Yep, they have it again. But at least what's positive to me that they, they are trying to use the ghost. It's always better to even try than not to pick it up. Yeah, they are, they are getting pushed. Yeah, Jafura is pushing. Corpse is coming from above. Yeah, there, there's a lot of uh, things I'm seeing in the Ghost play I would do differently. First is the positioning of the Ghost player. They should always play a bit safe spot so they have time to drop the ghost and move on if if needed. I think they're just um, playing a bit cheesy because they, they got uh, the recon with the ghost and then like three supports by him trying to get the calls. Like it, maybe it's smart to do but it won't get you really far. Like right now that nade could have taken out the entire team. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly what I thought earlier. It's a good pointer that they group up like this. And, and they get I taken out. Really yeah, easy. by Hyduk. Who else? I, I did there. predict he's gonna be the MVP of, of the Rice game. Um, he's a well marinated player and can really play this map really well. He has good nades, he can play every class pretty much. And he's a good support player as well. So. He's been doing really good here. I will also add that he's uh, a really ghost, uh, really good ghost uh, caller, and I don't think he's um, picked up the ghost enough on this match right now. He could uh, really provide uh, good information for mm -hmm. his team. And there they go, Prism again. The recon goes for the ghost. Corpse gets the entry. Rabies goes down roof. They're completely surrounded this time. Yeah, Blow is gonna push with AA 13 construction. Or is he? I don't think he should do that. Like right now they are at their um, at their mercy. To say um everyone's uh, bent up inside a server room. Not really moving like right now. Yeah, he got taken out. That was a nice trade. Oh, they're really low HP, all of them. Yeah, except the caller. Uh, one thing, have you noticed that um, in the Prism team, um, when they get picked, they don't really trade the frags like super fast. They're gonna go one by one, die alone, and no compensation for the death. So that's something that they should improve on, I I'd say. Like they don't react to teammate deaths that fast. Again, um, bad issues with communication. Uh... Quite likely, yeah. Heidi gets a kill. And he's gonna get another one. They don't react fast. I think Hyduk is gonna push the smoke. Look at this. Yeah. Uh, he's done bullet. this before. He's using the vision mode inside the smoke, taking advantage of the utility. Yeah, um, and there we go. Exactly. They're done for. <laughs> yeah, as except as expected, Hyduk did exactly what I thought. I mean, um, Ilo engaged that support before, and he was really low HP, and they knew. Uh, 
mm. it was really low so and we have a match point here as well 10 10 rounds out of 15 nsf having 5-0 lead with some tie out so time also also um nat has two lieutenants yeah uh, they had previous round already um glow had it aa 13 and hate it with the pc this might be interesting to watch he's going directly for the ghost mm -hmm. glow gets the first one watch that nade oh and there's a, there's a fast anybody. double kill so um, um, I think one of the recons is going for the ghost, but... Oh, that's a, I'm thinking, could Prism actually take the first uh, point here in this map? Hyduk is down, so it's... I'd say it's likely. They got the a chance. taking a frag. Two versus one. And Defour is still, like, pretty much full HP here. Can he do it? He could tie it out. And just prevent, like, I, I've seen, Prism has played super slow, right? It, th there's a danger. They're going to time out this round and lose the game. It's two against one for yeah, they, Prism. they really need to, to win now. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly a round you should win. You have over one minute time. You have the numbers, two against one. You could always pick up the ghost and all that. Yeah, he's picking it up now. Yeah, this is the right, right move. Although I don't like it that OK took it, um, th there was a slight cap when he took it. It's quite often you see this that in these scenarios that somebody is just going to camp the ghost when he knows he's outnumbered. The best thing he can do is go nearby the ghost, wait the ghost going to get picked up and then surprise the whole, the, the player who is picking it up. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice point. The food too slow here. As a support, no, nothing he could do here, other than just locate himself, relocate himself near nearby the ghost early on. Unfortunately, didn't see it coming, so nothing he could done. How uh, Prism has a uh, Italian. So we keep going. Prism getting first point. Is this a comeback? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, they have exactly four rounds to do it. So it would be a tie. And we go to the balustrade, um, which is the second map. We would go from a tie, tie scenario. So. That would be but a, it's highly unlikely. A huge moral boost for them, to be honest. I, I I'd take it. It's not the same going with one defeat than with a tie. Definitely. So, okay, taking the ghost again. He's been doing it quite a lot. Um, seems to be his thing. It's nice. N nice that they try at least with the ghost. I, I, I do respect that. It's a good thing to see. Or something. Yeah, eight ball took the ghost by him. I don't know what he's doing. They lost a lot of time and Hayduk engaged them. Yeah, Hayduk showing no respect to the BZ. Holding the server room and the suicide corridor here. They're in a tight spot because one grenade and they're all dead. Flo going ham with the AA-13. Is he gonna miss it? No, he's got the timing. But there's two players waiting for him. No respect. Gets punished though. Hyduk comes storming in like a Rambo. Yeah. Gets a double kill. And, and it's left. four against one. Waffle time alone on the roof. At least he's gonna prevent the cap. But there he goes. Yeah, he realizes he realizes I need to push if I we we can't tie out this round. But Hyduk, no respect, busy. Great round by by Hyduk. Like I saw John Rambo. Destroyed the last surviving player. And so we are off to Balustrade. Yeah, it was a pretty quick pretty quick match here. I think it was kinda of one-sided to be honest. Um 
Um, I'd say Prism had good chances to do better, but their the play they did with the ghost it just didn't work. There was something something off with that, and it's a bit sad. I don't know, but I wanted them to succeed uh, with the ghost play, but um, nothing really happened. They were too slow. They didn't really move. I don't know. What, what was the idea? They were wasting time a lot. Um. I think that was their, their strategy to waste time and wait for the enemy team to push them and then um, fight them with the fair power that supports uh, could provide. But yeah, think, uh, they were at, at a rank disadvantage the entire match. So even if that had played out for them, um, it will be one uh, in a million, um, perhaps. And I think the server is being restarted. Yes, uh, just a short interlude. Uh, Sexo has come back to the living and he's taking a look at the server and it will probably restart, be restarted and you will be notified. We will notify the players, of course, when it is mm -hmm. you know, when it is ready 